the totality of your life. Everything that is going on in your life can be traceable in your blood. If they take your blood and they spray you properly, they will know everything about your life. Welcome to blood at midnight. Lift up your voice, everyone, under the sound of my voice, because uh, we've been engaging the blood all throughout this year, and we are not engaging it for mere play. We are engaging it for the enforcement of prophecy. Lift up your voice and begin to celebrate God. Lift up your voice and begin to thank him. Praise him for the amazing things that he has been doing through the mystery that is in the blood. Celebrate him for the amazing things that he's still to, yet to do in our lives. Give him praise and tell him thank you. And remember Matthew chapter 13 verse 11. Matthew chapter 13 verse 11. It has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom. It has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Everyone that is outside the kingdom of God, what we do is like a story to them. Everyone that is outside the kingdom of God, the prayer we pray is as if we are joking. Everyone that is outside the kingdom of God, the giving we give is as if it's extortion. Everyone that is outside the kingdom of God, the word of God that we believe and we practice faith is as though we are being hypnotized. Everyone that is outside the kingdom of God, when we worship, it looks as if we are just singing. Listen to me, my dear friends. Hebrews chapter 12, if you read from verse 21, 22, 23, in fact, from verse 22 to 24. Hebrews chapter 12. I want to show you something you need to understand. When we come into God's presence, when we come to Zion, these are the entities that are present. And we're going to be celebrating God for what is about to happen tonight. Hebrews chapter 12. From verse 22 to 24. Hebrews chapter 12. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels. You have come to the living God. You have come to the innumerable company of angels. You have come to the general assembly of the church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven. You have also come to God, the judge of all. You have come to the spirit of just man made perfect. And verse 24, you have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. And you've also come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We are going to be thanking God because we are not just coming to ordinary beings. We always come to God's presence to meet spirit beings. Spirit of just men made perfect. The spirit of Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. The spirit of the blood that speaks better things. We've also come to the innumerable company of angels. So everything we do here is spiritual. And it's bound to produce results in the physical. What we are doing here is highly spiritual. And it is meant to produce results in the realm of the physical. Lift up your voice and open your mouth and let's begin to praise him. Let's begin to thank him because we've come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things. We've come to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things. This blood shall speak better thing for me. Can you just open your mouth and begin to declare it? And this year, this blood shall speak better things for me. This blood shall speak prosperity. This blood shall speak healings for me. This blood shall speak divine connections for me. This blood shall speak divine conception for me. This blood shall speak change of story for me. This blood shall speak increase for me. This blood shall speak expansion for me. Lift up your voice and begin to thank God for the voice of the blood that speaks better things. Come on, celebrate the awesomeness of our God. For the power that is in the blood of Jesus. And this blood speaks better things. Can somebody under the sound of my voice begin to fight it right now and say the blood is speaking better things for me. Can you begin to fight it? Can you begin to type it in your device? any of the platform where you are joining us from, can you begin to type it and say the blood is speaking better things for me. Can, can you take it a step further and begin to appreciate God for the things that the blood is speaking for you. Can you begin to say that, that the blood is speaking healings for me. Yes, under the sound of my voice and you feel that you are having any health challenge, health issue. The blood of Jesus has a voice. Can you begin to declare that the blood is speaking healing for me. The blood is speaking signs and wonders for me. 
The blood is speaking testimonies for me. The blood, I can hear the word of my spirit now. The blood is speaking favor for me. Open your mouth and thank God this night. And celebrate him everywhere you are joining from. Whether it's in the morning, in your climb, or evening, or noon. Whatever you are joining from, tell him thank you. That the blood is speaking better things for you. Lift up your voice and appreciate him. This blood speaks. This blood speaks. This blood speaks better things. It speaks better things. I remember a testimony that happened in my life. I will not forget that. I lived in a particular house where my landlady was highly diabolical. I'll say that again. My landlady was highly diabolical. And one day I was coming back from work and it was quite late. And when I got in front of my gate, about to push the pedestrian gate open, and I was nudged in my spirit not to open the pedestrian gate, that I should hold on and pray a little while. And I just stayed there, prayed in my spirit. I just prayed. After the prayer, the little prayer, not even up to five minutes, I pushed the pedestrian gate open. Lo and behold, I saw a very deadly snake. Call about to strike had it been i opened the gate when i was supposed to open it without praying that snake would have beat me and guess what by the time i pushed the gate open the snake was just bringing down its head and crawl of course i jumped across the snake went inside the house i alerted my wife and said i saw a snake i don't know how a snake managed to enter into this compound and it dawned on me that it was the diabolical approach of the people that I was living with, who happens to be my landlady. I was not too comfortable because it was only two flat, our house and their own house. And I, I, I was not feeling how, how, how come? Because there was a little issue, and because of that issue, they've been so there's a lot of fetishism. They've been doing some dangerous things. Some of them they do it in broad daylight. Guess what? I woke up in the night that Sunday, carried a communion. Bless the communion. Thank God for the communion. What is the communion? I took a soft drink. Pour it in a bowl. I was thanking God that this is now the blood of Jesus. And after doing that, I came out from my own house, from my own apartment, sprinkled the blood. And I was not declaring. I was just declaring, let the blood jump. Let there be vengeance. Let the blood jump. Let there be vengeance. Every perpetrator of evil, let the blood jump. Let there be vengeance. I was just saying that. My dear friends, I went back to sleep. In the morning, they opened their house. A landlady fell down on the floor, shouting, screaming. But I'm a bad boy. I'm a fetish boy. I'm a diabolical boy. That I must pack out of the house. While she fell down crying, shouting, one part of her body paralyzed. They took her to the hospital. She was in that hospital, in that state, to the day I moved out of the compound. We're going to lift up your voice and pray a prayer. We're going to declare everything that the enemy has projected against you in 2024. Everything that the enemies, they've projected in form of incantation, divination, whatever means that they are projecting evil, speaking evil against you, against your family, against your loved ones, your children. We're going to make a declaration tonight by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Let there be vengeance. I don't know why I'm starting like that, but I saw it in the Bible in Luke chapter 21 verse 22. These are the days of vengeance so that the things that are written might be fulfilled. That is not what we are doing today, but that is by way of starting. Open your mouth and begin to pray it that in 2024, in this January, this new year, everyone that is planning, cooking, projecting, carrying out every incantation, divination against any aspect of my life, against my marital destiny, against my conception, against my career, against my health, against my 
education against my children against any aspect of my life lift up your voice and begin to declare it let there be vengeance let there be vengeance open your mouth and pray this prayer vengeance is mine says the lord i will avenge romans chapter 12 verse 19 you cannot avenge yourself if Moses tried to avenge himself, he will kill Pharaoh. But when it was time for God to judge them, God did not touch Pharaoh. God went after the God of Egyptians, which was entering Pharaoh's spirit. There are spirit entities that is entering people to do you evil. In 2024, that evil shall cease. That hatred shall cease. That disfavor shall cease. Open your mouth and begin to pray. You don't know why they hate you. It's not because they hate you. They just they are just operating by evil incantation, evil divination. They set their eyes on you. They are angry at you. No. And open your mouth and declare it that tonight let there be vengeance against every perpetrator of evil in any aspect of my destiny in any aspect of my life starting from tonight i declare vengeance comes upon them in the camp of the wicked in the name of jesus christ every evil you have done all you have done all you have done all that you know how to do still yet things are still the same you have written the exam you have read and read still yet you are still failing you have applied for the promotion still yet you are still kept in one place you have done all kinds of business still yet there's no sign that things are going to change tonight we make a declaration judgment let me tell you this tonight before we continue Moses did everything that God asked him to do Moses did everything that God asked him to do for them to leave Egypt but each time it looks as though they want to leave Pharaoh will change his heart it wasn't Pharaoh It was the spirit of the gods that was against the freedom of Israelites. It's not as if you are not doing what you are supposed to do. Why are you suffering that disappointment? Why is there so many miscarriages? What happened? Why is there so much disappointment in your life? Why are there so much stagnation? Why are you frustrated? Why is this repetition of cycle and evil? Why are there so many nearness to success syndrome? Tonight, by the power that is in the blood, judgment comes upon them. Judgment comes upon them. Lift up your voice and declare it. Judgment, unusual judgment. It comes upon them now. So when it was entering to a point where the freedom of Israelite became a threat God said I will bring one more plague I will bring one more plague and after then he will let you go he will let you and when you are going guys you are not going empty you are going to declare by this judgment tonight by this vengeance tonight everything that has been delayed everything that I've lost I begin to get them back now everything let there be double restoration let there be double restoration I can hear the word clearly in my spirit Isaiah Zechariah chapter 9 Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11 and 12 let there be double restoration verse 11 said as for you through the everlasting blood of a covenant will I bring you out of the pit wherein there is no water and it says in verse 12 it says return to your stronghold you prisoners of hope 
Even today, I declare, I will restore double. I'd like you to lift up your voice and begin to declare it. Double restoration in 2024. I will not have it one. I will have it double fold. Double restoration in 2024. Lift up your voice and declare it. Double restoration by the kind of vengeance that is coming in the camp of the wicked. I declare double restoration. I declare double restoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, double restoration. Near Kapatosha, a clear Abatosa Kata. Begin to plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood against them, plead the blood in their camp, plead the blood of Jesus for victory. Declare it. I overcome by the blood. Declare it. I activate vengeance by the blood. Declare it. I escape by the blood. Declare it. I experience freedom by the blood. Open your mouth and keep declaring it. As you are declaring it, but type in it. This is one night of judgment that will result into one year of freedom. Type it that way. This is my one night of vengeance that will return into one year of freedom. Isaiah chapter 63 verse 4. Isaiah chapter 63 verse 4. This is my one night of vengeance that will return, result into my one year of freedom. Type it and look at that scripture. Isaiah chapter 63 verse 4 for the day one day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeem has come this is one night of vengeance that will result into one year of freedom one year of blessing one year of conception one year of breakthrough one year of financial blessing one year of favor one year of creativity one year of invention one year of marital destiny settlement one year of healing one year of no visiting hospital hey! I beg you, don't make light of vengeance prayer. Luke chapter 18, verse 1, or 2 to verse 8. I want to show you something. Don't make light of vengeance prayer. Vengeance prayer is not a prayer that you just touch and go. Don't make light of vengeance prayer vengeance prayer is not the type of prayer that you touch and go don't make light of vengeance prayer he spoke a parable to them that men ought always to pray and not lose heart verse 2 saying there was a certain there was in a certain city a judge who did not fear god nor regard man now there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying get vengeance for me from my enemies get justice for me and he will not for a while but after a war afterward he said to himself do i do not fear god nor regard yet because this widow troubles me i will avenge her lest by her continual disturbance and coming she worries me if you don't come continually to disturb God about, about vengeance, God is not too fast in letting out vengeance. God did not want to kill them in Egypt. Had he been they allowed them to go from the beginning, he wouldn't have killed them. But vengeance is always the last card. Everything that has not allowed you to experience the testimony you've desired for the past five years. You see this year, you see this year, by the activation of the force of vengeance, they will let you go. Then the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall God not avenge his own elect if this man do this that says if this woman continue to come this woman will weary me she will disturb me i will be tired of her disturbance he now said even god will he not avenge his own elect who cry out day and night to him though he bears long with them i tell you the truth verse 8 i tell you that he will avenge them speedily nevertheless when the son of man comes will he really find faith on earth that means is he going to find those that believe in vengeance you are going to declare he said i tell you the truth he will avenge them speedily you're going to declare tonight tonight let there be speed of vengeance let none of all the perpetrators of evil escape in Egypt not one escaped Exodus chapter 8 chapter 12 
verse 28 to 30 not one escaped exodus every house every house had a feel of it uh, tonight you see tonight you see tonight i'm taking this time to do something before we get into activating blood money because tonight we must activate blood money certain things that are happening to you they are not ordinary you have done all there is to do and things are still the same from tonight i declare a forceful change to a forceful vengeance Exodus chapter 12 verse 28 I mean Exodus chapter 12 verse 28 to 30 then the children of Israel went away and engaged the blood they did so they engaged the blood just like you're going to engage the blood in a short while I'm going to tell you to carry the communal material in a short while they did as Moses so just as the Lord has had commanded Moses and Aaron so they did Jesus we are not engaging the blood religiously ladies and gentlemen if you are engaging it religiously you are doing yourself more harm than good we are engaging it mysteriously when it's time to pray you pray when it's time to plead you plead when it's time to sprinkle you sprinkle when it's time to drink you drink when it's time to soak your hand whatever that is being commanded on the platform you do it why we are engaging the blood mysteriously for it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Listen to me with rapt attention. And it came to pass at midnight when they did what Moses asked them to do, that the Lord struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of livestock, animals felt it. So Pharaoh rose in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt. Listen now. For there was not a house where there was not one dead person. Emphasis man. We are going to declare it. Now listen. When those people died, verse 31, if they, don't, if they are not judged, they won't give you what is yours. If there is no vengeance, take it from me. There will not be a release of what rightfully belongs to you. If there is no vengeance, husbands will not be released. Wives will not be released. People that are meant to get married, you find out that there are a lot of disparities, irregularities, issues here and there. If it's not money, it is health. If it's not health, it's one thing. If there is no vengeance, you realize that health issues will continue. You think it's doctor's fault. It's not medical pro professional's fault. It is an enemy doing his work. If there is no vengeance, there will not be release. Type it. If there is no element of vengeance, there will not be element of release. Can you do me a favor before we get into this prayer? Can you just share all across the platforms where we are using? Can you just share it all across every platform that we are using? Can you just share it all across platforms? Do me a favor and share it all across platforms and sure you share it all across platform please any platform that you are connected to share it there because this night we're using the first 30 minutes to do what we're supposed to do and then we move over on how to activate blood money <laughs> on how to activate blood money can you just do us a favor and just share it can, can you take it a step further can you take it a step further can you just tag 12 people? Share it among 12 people. Share it among 12 people. Can you just do it that way now? Can you just share it across platforms? Listen, my dear friends. Then Pharaoh called Moses, verse 31 of Exodus chapter 12, and Aaron, but that same night, and said, Rise, go out from among my people, both you and the children of Israel, and go serve the Lord as you have said. Please come, come, come. Verse 32. Also come, come. Take everything. Take your flock. Take your herbs as you have said. Be gone. And please bless me where you are going because I'm under a curse. If there is no vengeance, there will not be a release. For these are the days of vengeance. 
I'll say it again. If there is no vengeance, there will not be any element of release. For these are the days of vengeance. If there is no vengeance, there will not be any element of release. You're going to lift up your voice and you're going to pray. Let there be vengeance from tonight. You're going to speak it forth now. Let there be vengeance from now. You're going to open your mouth and begin to declare, let there be forceful vengeance upon them. Let there everything that have caused delay, everything that have caused stagnation, everything that have kept you in one place, let there be a forceful vengeance from tonight. Let there be a, a, a release of God's vengeance upon them. Let me show you an example of vengeance. Revelation chapter 18, verse 6, verse 7 and verse 8. Let me show you what vengeance looks like. You only knew vengeance in the Old Testament. When God visited the Egyptians with his own vengeance, all their firstborn died. All the firstborn of animal died. I mean, tonight I'm making a declaration. Whatever that I've vowed that you will not share your testimonies. Whatever that I've vowed. By the way, tomorrow is a special day. Tomorrow is a special day. How to activate testimonies. How to make testimonies to come forcefully. If you keep quiet in this new year, in this age, if you keep quiet, everything will keep quiet. If you keep quiet, everything will keep quiet. Don't think what we're doing here is a light thing. It is a dangerous activation of forceful things. So tomorrow, we're, we're looking at how to activate all kinds of testimonies. So, Bible speaking, example of vengeance, it's a render to her just as she rendered to you and repay her double according to her works and the cup with which she has mixed mix double for her and the cup which she has mixed mix double for her verse 7 in the measure that she glorified herself and lived luxuriously in the same measure give her torment and sorrow for she says in her heart I sit as a queen I am no widow and I will see no sorrow and I lie Therefore, her judgment, her vengeance, her punishment will come in one day. Let me give you the definition of one day of judgment. Death will visit her. Mourning will visit her. Farming will visit her. And she will be utterly born with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. I, I want you to lift up your voice and declare, Lord, judge everything that have caused delay in my life. Let there be judgment against everything that have caused any form of delay. Marital delay, conception delay, healing delay, job delay, accommodation delay, project delay, every form of delay. Let there be judgment. Let not one of them escape. Open your mouth and declare it. Let not one of them escape. This is the year of the redeemed. This is the year of the redeemed. So for the year of the redeemed to be activated fully, we must engage the force of vengeance. Everything causing the life over your heart that have caused all kinds of ill health, all kinds of sickness, and make a declaration, judgment upon them. Judgment. That man that vowed that your children will not be well to do over that family, I declare this night, this night, this night, that man will be hospitalized with partial stroke by God's release of vengeance. They have vowed that there will not be joyful celebration over the destiny of your female children. They are meant to be getting married. By now, you are supposed to have gotten one person married, two people get married, and no sign of anything. Therefore, I open marital doors for them. I open marital doors for them. 
I open marital doors for them. I open marital doors for your children. And I declare that evil thought, that evil man, that vow, that they vow that nothing good will come out from this family. I release judgment upon them. In the name of Jesus, pray! Male children looking as if they can't become anything. We speak forth by the authority that is in the blood of Jesus Christ. All your destinies begin to turn around right now. Every one of you, all your destinies, male children in a family, so much male, and is not resulting into so much advancement, so much development, so much expansion. Things are still the same. Open your mouth and begin to pray that the vengeance release that is going on tonight comes upon every perpetrator of this evil. The book of First Kings, chapter 18, verse 40. He says, seize all the prophets of Baal. They are the ones causing this problem. Everyone causing this problem, we seize them. We seize them in the realm of the spirit. They can't function again. First King chapter 18, verse 40. Seize all the prophets of Baal. Seize all of them. Ensure. And Elijah said to them, seize the prophet of Baal. It was with exclamation sign. Seize the prophet of Baal. You see the exclamation sign. Do not let one of them escape. Oh. Do not allow anybody to escape. So they seized them and Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon and killed them there. Bible is trying to be moderate. That's why he used the word execute. That word there is he killed them there. Elijah took a knife and slashed their throats, was cutting it. When he finished killing them, he called Elijah and said, come and pour water and clean my hand. My hand is too bloody. I declare tonight, judgment comes upon them. You have escaped in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Can you type it boldly? I have escaped out of this nonsense experience. Say it to yourself and type it boldly. I have escaped out of this long issue. I have escaped. I cannot return to this experience. The Israelites escaped. They couldn't go back to Egypt. Say it to yourself and turn it into prayer. Declare the blood of Jesus has bailed me out. I have escaped. I cannot return to this experience again. I have escaped. I cannot return to this experience again. I have escaped. I cannot return to this experience again. So how do we activate blood money? <laughs> how do we activate blood money in the kingdom of God? There is a dimension of wealth that you want to assess. If you want to assess that dimension of wealth in the kingdom of darkness, it involves blood. You belong to a certain group. If you want to assess certain wealth, it involves sacrifice at the blood level. Some of those sacrifices are animals in nature. Some are human beings. We are aware of all those things. Sometimes, if you want to assess certain wealth, it opens you to a certain cult or certain group of people just for you to assess it. So in the kingdom of God, how do we assess blood money that comes through the blood of Christ? When I say blood money, I'm talking about blood of Jesus Christ money. If the blood of human beings and animals can produce anything, how much more? The Bible is speaking about how much more the blood of Christ. I will talk more a little bit about it. If the blood of animals and bulls and blood of heifer or whatever, how much more the blood of Jesus? Turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Hebrews chapter 9 and let's read from verse 12 to 15. And then we jump he says, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, he entered the most holy place once for all, having a, obtained eternal redemption. <laughs> Next. For if, everybody look at it, for if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of a heifer 
sprinkling upon the unclean thing sanctifies it sanctifies for the purifying of the flesh 14 how much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve a living God may I tell you this if the blood of goats and blood of animals can make people rich blood of human beings can make people rich how much more when you know how to engage the blood of Jesus and that's what I want to teach you how much more if this blood of nonsense people I have seen people in this and our climb in this part of the world where we are coming from people will go and kill chicken life and eat it cut off the throat and say they belong to one court they belong to that court listen what you are drinking is rubbish if you align with the blood of Jesus I want to teach you the highest court you can belong to the highest realm of taking the blood is his blood you know what it means to take the blood of a God do you know what it means to drink the blood of a God you know Jesus is the son of a living God and he blessed communion and said this is my blood and when people drink it people don't know what they are drinking do you know what it means to drink the blood of a God do you know what it means to take blood that is that belongs to a God that is from his body as Jesus taught us because you feel you are drinking wine you feel you are drinking soft drink you feel you are drinking water faith has not been battered in you the day faith is battered in you when you carry it like this you know that you're not carrying ordinary communion you're not carrying ordinary communion you're not carrying ordinary blood there is something about what you're carrying there is a spirit entering you so if that God that we are drinking his blood is not poor if that God cannot lack anything, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching somebody something now. If that God needs anything, I will assess it. You see tonight, by the kind of faith you are going to add to tonight's communion, things will begin to change for you forcefully. There will be forceful influx of resources. You will not even know where money is coming from. You will not know where opportunities are coming from. I'm opening somebody's destiny. I'm opening somebody's financial destiny. Your faith is not alive. That's why you are taking it lightly. If your faith comes alive, you will be on your feet right now. So if the blood of God can cleanse, the blood of our animals can cleanse. If the blood of Jesus comes, it will not cleanse. It will make you pure and holy. So if the blood of animals, in other words, can make people rich through sacrifice, how much more the blood of Jesus? How much more? Can you type it now? If the blood of animals and blood of human beings can make people rich, how much more the blood of the Son of God? Yeah! Somebody right now is delivered from generational poverty. You are entering generational wealth by the blood. Carry the communion right now. I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit in a special way. Carry the anointing, please. Carry the communion, rather. Can you just do us a favor and share this video right now? Can you just do us a favor and share this video right now as I'm picking up my own communion? Can you just do us a favor and share this thing all across platforms? Can you just do us a favor and share this all across platforms? Can you just do us a favor and share this all across platforms? Something is about to shift. Kingdom mysteries are not stories. You cannot unravel it with your senses. This is a night of activating blood money by the blood of Jesus. The kind of wealth that will come. That you will build your first house within three months, within six months. Can I get a better amen? The kind of wealth that will come. That you will start up your own organization and employ people this same year. The kind of wealth that will come. That will cause a massive relocation to do international business. The kind of wealth that will come, you will become an employer of labor, no longer ordinary looking for one salary. The kind of wealth that will come, that men will begin to ask you, What did you do? What happened? And then you introduce them to Christ. You introduce them to Jesus. Say, Man, call Pastor Casey, you unveiled the mystery of the blood. 
Faith is about to be battered. I don't care if you have one naira in your account or not. But I'll tell you how this blood, activation of bloody wealth through his blood works. Carry the communion material. I want to show you something very, very deep. Genesis chapter 15, verse 13 and 14. I would like you to look up and carry your communion. I turn everything in your hand, the flesh in your hand, the blood in your hand, I turn it into the blood of Jesus. And I, I implore you to listen to me with rapt attention. And after then, we will pray. Just give me five minutes. After then, we'll pray. Then he, God, said to Abraham, No, certainly. This is a statement of fact. It's not something that I'm just saying. Abraham, no, certainly. That your descendants will be strangers in a land. There is a land that they will suffer. They will go through stuffs. That is not theirs. That's not their land. And will serve them. They will serve that country. And they will afflict them 400 years. Verse 14. And also, that nation whom, the nation whom they serve, I will judge. I told us to pray for judgment and vengeance. You do not understand. Judgment comes before wealth. If judgment is not meted, if judgment is not executed, wealth will not be released. Because there are people fighting that you are not promoted. There are people doing all kinds of things just to see that good did not come to you. There are people too that is their responsibility to make sure that not one block is molded in that land. Tonight, there are people that if they know that there's a project going on, they will fight to and nail to frustrate you. But tonight, because we've released vengeance, Ecclesiastes, we are coming back to the scripture. Afterward, they shall come out with great possession. After the judgment, what is great possession? They shall come out with great wealth. They shall come out with great substance. They shall come out with great possession after the judgment so when it was time for them to come out with great possession God told Moses engage the blood now tell them to go and collect gold tell them to go and collect silver tell them to go and collect bronze the Israelites plundered the economy of the Egyptians tonight we are going to make a declaration by the engagement of the blood, let there be a shift in wealth. Let there be wealth transfer. I hear the word clearly. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 11. By the engagement of the blood, let my gate be open for access to wealth. Therefore, your gate shall be open continually. Your gate shall not be shut day or night that men may bring to you what? The wealth of Gentiles. Tonight we are going to declare it. Connections are going to be coming. Opportunities are going to be coming. Yes, introductions are going to be coming. Lift up your voice tonight and say, Lord, the same way there was a bloody wealth transfer in Egypt, as I engage this blood tonight, let there be a wealth transfer from unknown into my camp, into my business, into my life. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth. Let there be a wealth transfer. They engage the blood. Everything changed. I am not engaging it theoretically. I'm engaging it mysteriously. Lord, by the mystery that is in the blood. Yesterday, many of us, we washed our hands with the blood and we wash up poverty and we wash in wealth. Many of us, we wash our feet with the blood yesterday and it resulted into wherever the soul of your feet touches, you will possess. Many of us, we engage in head washing, engaging creativity in the highest order. There will be invention, there's going to be opportunities. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to declare right now. Right now, declare it. Let there be a transfusion of the life of Jesus.
He was not poor. Let everything in my blood that depict poverty, let it die. Let there be a bloody manifestation of wealth. Let there be a bloody manifestation of true wealth. Let there be a bloody manifestation of true wealth. Lift up your voice and begin to declare it. Let there be a bloody manifestation of the wealth that comes from the blood. Every true wealth is traceable to the blood. Either the blood of human or the blood of Jesus. The wealth of the Israelites was traceable to the blood of Jesus. It's included in Payababa. The wealth of Abraham is traceable to blood covenant. Abraham circumcised and blood came out. And God asked Abraham to get a pigeon. Abraham got a pigeon as a substitute for God. And they slid the pigeon into two. Blood came out from the body of the pigeon as a substitute. There was a mingling between the blood that came out from the part of Abraham's body that was circumcised and the part of the pigeon's body that was slashed into two. The mingling resulted into covenant. You are now going to covenant with God. And Jesus said, this is the blood of the new covenant. Matthew chapter 26 verse 28 for the remission of sin. Tonight is for the remission of poverty. You are remitted from lack. You are remitted from borrowing. You are remitted from debt. You are remitted from every lack. In the name of Jesus, the covenant connects you to blood. What? For this is my blood of a new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. Type it again. This is the blood of a new covenant for the remission from lack and poverty. I am remitted from nothing. I am remitted from borrowing. I am remitted. Can you begin to pray by the blood? I am remitted from borrowing. I am taking you through deep things, all right? And that's why I'm encouraging you to share it. This is not a conventional teaching. This is a very, very mysterious teaching. I am taking you through spiritual mysteries. That's why I'm asking you, share, share. Can you do me a favor and share it? If you are just joining us, share it. Anyway, you are share it. You are joining me and God to liberate humanity. And if you are joining me and in partnership with God to bring liberation to people, God cannot leave you like that. Job chapter 42 verse 10. Job 42 verse 10. Let me show you why you must share. Every time you come, you don't make light of this. You share it. He said, when Job... Job chapter 42 verse 10. Job chapter 42 verse 10. The Bible is speaking concerning Job. It said Job prayed for his friends. Job chapter 42 verse 10. They're going to take the and the Lord restored Job's losses. Lord restored Job when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. When you begin this is intercession sharing with other people in your platform where you are is intercession and as you share you are not just sharing you are sharing so that your eyes will be open to see what you are seeing pray tonight because I know it like I know my name the Israelite became rich by engaging the blood Abraham became rich by engaging the blood through sacrifice go and find out from our fathers every one of them there's a measure of this that i'm teaching you and that is the place of the blood covenant and that blood covenant gives you access to bloody word i bless the communion material and you are taking the blood of a god the blood of god the blood of jesus as you partake of it there is nothing that will bring lack in your life again there is nothing that will bring poverty again in your life I would like you to pray it right now. The Holy Spirit impressed it in my heart. Declare it. Your gates are open. Your gates are open continually. Your gates are open. They will not be shut. Isaiah 60 verse 11. I didn't pray that prayer the way I want you to be prayed. I'd like you to lift up your voice. i show you so many scriptures just for me to buttress what God is impressing in my heart. And there is nothing that I come here to teach. I come here to preach that is written somewhere. I only come here and I open my mouth wide and God starts pouring everything he has deposited inside of me for you. Your God shall be open continually. Can you say it to yourself? Can you pray it to yourself? Can you pray it for yourself? My gate, my gate, my gate of business, my gate of breakthrough, my gate of divine connection. My gate shall be open. Still hold the communion. Don't drink it yet. 
my gate shall be open continually my gate shall be open my gate my gate of favor can you pray my gate of favor i will not be rejected i cannot be refused my gate of opportunities my gate of connection my gate of contract my gate of promotion my gate of jobs yes my gate of financial favor my gate right now as i'm speaking to you right now somebody's financial gate of favor is open you are being remembered right now in terms of millions you are being remembered right now in terms of millions millions is flowing to you in the next three days in the next three days someone is being remembered opportunity that is coming to you will generate millions favor that is coming to you will bring millions somebody is being remembered now somebody is being remembered now by the power that is in the blood they could not refuse or reject the israelites they could not refuse or reject the israelites somebody is being remembered Pray! Get by the blood is open. Financial gates are open by the blood. Watch out for the kind of favor that is coming your way. It says that gate shall not be shut day or night. That means while you are sleeping, something is working for you. While you are awake, something is working for you. Don't make light of this prayer that I'm asking you to pray. I, I, feel, I feel this in my spirit. I feel this in my spirit that somebody is about to enter a new phase. But the person is not praying. He's just looking. He wants to type amen. Don't wait to type amen. Somebody is about to enter a new realm. Ali Kopaya. Esiana Matopayano Zota. Eli Kato Pro Osh Enkli Mata Palida. Razo Pro Jelima da Kapatosa. Eklida Bakatoba. By the blood of Jesus. He said that men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles. If God said men will bring to you that means i want you to pray people are bringing things to me people are bringing opportunities to me people are bringing favor to me people are bringing change of story to me people are bringing opportunities are coming can you begin to declare it from the four corners of the earth my name i project it yes my name begin to enter into people's mind yes 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 and their kings in procession i bless the communal material partake of it now drink it drink it drink it now drink it now and remain a little of it drop it upon your head as a mark drop it upon your head as a mark is the mark of the blood anywhere you enter the blood will be speaking for you anywhere you enter anywhere your name is mentioned from now the blood will be speaking for you take the communion rujuda rekutubra and leketeza shakatalaba type it anywhere i enter or my name is mentioned the blood will be speaking for me type it and take the communion now thank you mighty god for the release of blood money in the blood of jesus thank you for what you've done in the life of everybody type it and begin to give him praise and take the communion take a little of it and drop it on your head we are activating kingdom mysteries we are just activating kingdom mysteries there is nothing we are doing except activating kingdom mysteries listen my dear friends just before we go one of the things that helps you to activate blood money is sacrificial giving once, once you enter into that realm and you activate the blood and you give whatever he impresses in your heart sacrificially one day he told me, he said, give me your car. Highlander 2018 model. Lovely car. White, clean car. And he told me who to give it to. He told me who to give it to. So I'm not talking to you now for you to give anything to me. No, I'm talking to you based on truth that will set you free. I took the Highlander, called our protocol guy. I called his name by name Steve. I said, Steve, please come. Take this car take the papers, take everything, take it to car wash. I've driven that car for four months and he spoke that word to me. Why sacrifice? He, is, he, he always wants to test you. Genesis chapter 21 verse 1. After these things, the Lord tested Abraham. Once he wants to bring you to the realm of blood wealth, blood, blood money, he will test you. Occultic people, when they want to bring somebody to blood money, they test the person and say, go and bring your mother. 
Go and bring your father. Go and bring your first child. It's a test. So the Bible is speaking in the book of Genesis chapter 21 verse 1. So you, you, you say, uh, uh, Genesis chapter 22 verse 1, sorry. Genesis 22 verse 1. 22 verse 1, sorry. Now it came to pass after this thing that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here am I, verse 2. Here am I. And he said, take now your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I, will tell, I shall tell you. So that test must come. Everybody, but if you don't pass that test, you are not ready. Occultic people, that test comes to them. It's just that their wealth has consequences. It has regret and bitterness. For the blessings of the Lord, make it rich and add no sorrow. It was a test to show that it was a test. When he took Abraham there, he gave Abraham back. He gave Isaac back to Abraham. God has asked me to do some things that he will give it back to me. I've given a car. He has given me back a car. He has given me back a car. One day he told somebody to take a particular car to me. And the guy brought the car last year, June. That's the truth. I gave out a car. No grudge, no ill feelings, nothing. It was highly sacrificial. Abraham laid down Isaac and God said, take him back. Now I know. The only thing occultic people no go give you back. They no go give them back to you. They go collect and chop. Then go chop them. They can do pepper soup. And go chop him, drink the blood, self. But when God receives it from you, get ready, he will give it back to you hundredfold. So please take note of this warning. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 11, 12, and 13. Deuteronomy chapter 12, sorry. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 11, 12, and 13. Then there will be the place where the Lord your God chose to make his name abide. You must take your sacrifice to where the name of God is, or who God has put his name upon. You don't take it anywhere. May I warn you, please? Sacrifice is not in volume, it's in the price. Somebody sacrifice, sacrificial giving may be the last 1,000 naira in his account. Another person's sacrifice may be the last 10 million naira in his account. But when you give sacrifice, you will feel it. You will know that this one is sacrifice. When there is 10 million naira in your account and you are giving God 1,000 naira, you don't feel it. So blood money in the kingdom works also by sacrifice. You activate it by sacrifice. He said, then there will be the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide. There you shall bring all that I command you. You are burnt offering, bring it there. You are sacrifices. So there's a place God chose. Abraham, take Isaac to the Mount of Moriah. That's where I chose. So God will tell you the place he has chosen for you to take it to. I am not preaching, not teaching for you to bring it to me. I'm telling you the truth. He will speak to you in your heart. When he told me where to take the car to, he didn't say take the car and give it to yourself. He told me where to take it to, who to take it to as a person. One day he told me, he said, my son, I just cross you over. This is what is in your account. Take that one million naira in your account. I just saved and saved, and I just. Yeah, he said, take it. I said, take it and leave the city of Enugu. Go to Lagos and drop it to such a person. I took off from the city of Enugu. He spoke to me on Sunday during service. I left on Monday morning. The airport was under renovation. I couldn't fly by air, and I went by land. Got to Lagos on time. Went straight to the place where he asked me to do it. There, no transfer. He said, take it by hand. There's nothing like transfer. So you are tight. Take it there. You are heave offerings of your hand. And all your choice offering, which you vow to the Lord. Take it to the place where I command. Verse 13. He said, see to it. Verse 13. See to it. Beware. Take heed to yourself that you do not offer your burnt offerings in every place that you see. You don't offer it everywhere. So I, I just say this to help somebody. This year, I speak for it over your life. As we align with covenant, covenant is stronger than economy. Covenant is stronger than any land. Covenant that is stronger than any place. I just share this with you to open your eyes and then to allow you to do what God is expressing in your heart to do. Remember, tomorrow is a special day. You can't afford to miss it how to activate testimonies. 
see you're going to have testimonies every week mighty big testimonies you're going to activate it tomorrow and i'm going to show you by the blood how to activate testimonies don't forget my dear friends you are free to give your offering okay you're free to give your seed you're free to give your tithe account details are showing you are free to also give your sacrifices as god leads you i have seen it and i'm excited this same year you shall what you've never touched before stretch forth your two hands i speak forth over your life that the resources you've never handled before that hand that touched the blood yesterday that leg that stepped upon the blood yesterday i make a declaration that head that was washed in the blood yesterday your mind will be creative you will invent things you will bring out what has never been brought out before and i declare the works of your hand will excel it will produce result like never before and this hand will not borrow this hand will lend in the mighty name of jesus christ can i hear you type it i shall touch the money i have never touched in my life by the blood of jesus type it i shall touch the money i will handle the wealth i've never handled before by the blood of jesus i bless your offering i bless your sacrifices i bless your seed i bless your tithe whatever you're given for and i declare they will all speak for you in the mighty name of jesus christ my dear friends i'll see you again tomorrow but please invite people and let them be part of it and let them join in any of our handles that we are using to do this meeting don't forget tomorrow it's a special day of activating testimonies diverse kinds of signs and wonders and testimonies by the blood until i come your way again tomorrow by 11 p.m keep winning by the blood god bless you